Happy Easter. Christ is risen. Now, in case you didn't know, something that we do here at our church, and it happens at a lot of churches, when somebody says, Christ is risen, the reply is, Christ is risen indeed. Alleluia. So let's try it again, just in case you missed it, and gives you something to do at home instead of just watching the video. Happy Easter. Christ is risen. All right, awesome. So welcome, this is First Good Shepherd Lutheran Church in downtown Las Vegas, I'm John. Um, typically what we do in our worship service is after the gospel reading, all the kids come down and they meet in this area in front of the altar and we just chat for a minute. So since we're recording worship because of the coronavirus pandemic, um, I figured, hey, let's do a children's chat on recording as well. So. Whether you are a child or whether you're a teen or an adult or whatever your age is, I pray that this will be a blessing for you. Um, so let's begin. Happy Easter. Uh, the cool thing about Easter for being a Christian, at least for me, is that it's not just a day. It's not just Easter Sunday. It's an extended season. We started on Ash Wednesday. We went for 40 days through Lent, uh, plus all the Sundays. Then we've got Palm Sunday, Maundy Thursday, Good Friday. We finally get to Easter Sunday. Um, and then we celebrate the season of Easter all the way through Pentecost, which this year it's at the end of May. So I'm going to say Happy Easter every time I see you. And I want you guys to also say Happy Easter to other people. Now I know that we're in the COVID-19 pandemic and we're not going out, which is good. It's safe. We've got to keep ourselves protected. Um, but say it to your family, say it to your friends if you talk to them on the phone, or if you're doing any kind of internet meetings, say it to them. Now, you might get some weird looks, um, so say in a month from now or a couple weeks when we're halfway through May, and you say Happy Easter to somebody, they might look at you and th say, um, Easter was like a month ago, what are you doing? And it's not really that bad, I mean, so what if you get a bad look? It doesn't really matter. Um, compare it to what the apostles had to deal with in Acts chapter 5 verses 29 through 42. That's our Bible reading for this morning. If you didn't hear it in the worship service, then you can get out a handy dandy Bible and read it. It's towards the back. Acts chapter 5 verses 29 through 42. And see what happened to the apostles when they tried to share Jesus with some people. Um, it's really not that bad if you get a weird look, if you compare it to what happened to the apostles. And then what I really want you to do is look at how the apostles reacted to what happened to them when they tried to share Jesus with some other people. And try to live that way as well. They, well, I don't want to give you away what it was, but just try to act the way that the apostles did. And again, it's in Acts chapter 5, verses 29 through 42. So thank you for watching. I miss you all. I cannot wait until we have worship together again. But in the meantime, I pray that these video recordings are a blessing to you. If you're looking for something to do, I put the children's worship bulletin in the First Good Shepherd newsletter. I also have a separate email list that I send out uh, stuff just to the youth and parents. And I sent out this Easter coloring sheet last week. If you didn't get this, or if you don't get the church newsletter, you can go to our website, fgsls.org, um, look for the newsletter section, and you can sign up there, or you can go to the youth ministry section, and you can sign up for that email list as well. So, I hope that this is a blessed season for you, and I pray that you're leaning on Jesus and trusting in God's promises. Before we go, let's close in prayer. Usually what we do is we have a repeat prayer, so I will say a part and then you guys repeat it back to me. So just to stay in that routine, let's do that. I'll say a part of the prayer and then you guys repeat it after me. Good morning, God. Thank you for Easter Sunday. Thank you for raising Jesus. Please help me to share Jesus with others. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless your day.